People that lie low, I stop lying. Stop lying. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Hope you guys are doing okay. So today now, um, I just want to um talk about something very little. It's, it's in the form of a question. So some time back, I put something on my Instagram story. I often like putting things like um like um i like the whole thing on easter story i just feel it's fun and it's a way to know how people think about a situation about something so once in a while i like putting things out just to be like just to see other people's opinion about things and stuff so yeah like there was a day i put in a question about do you think people can lie intentionally or they're just liars and um I put in two options. The first one is um, people actually lie. The second option is um, people can lie unintentionally. I'll look for the question for the poll. I can't find it now. I tried looking for it before I started um, this video, but it's really hard for me to find it. But I'm going to like just insert it and um, yeah, show you guys what the poll was. So I was really surprised at the result of the poll that people actually think that. Um, some people can lie unintentionally. I was really surprised. I was like, how can you lie how you are lying unintentionally? Is it even possible? Like, I just feel like some things are not possible. But, you know what they, what they call experience? You know what um, experience is called? Experience is called master of all experience. Master of all example. There are times that you don't know some things are possible until it happens to you, until you do it. And that's that boils down to like, how imperfect we are so at that time i put up the poll i was actually just bitter had some people that actually lie i'm like why do you tell a lie like why do you tell a lie about this cheap thing like if we want to tell a lie let's be something legit why should you be telling a lie like about something that like nobody's going to kill you for it and stuff and then when those people said it's possible to lie unintentionally i was like is it even possible does that even make some common sense to me but he does make common sense so it happened to me so what happened was that something happened between me and some friends and then i was trying to relay an information about what i did and what i didn't do to another friend that no i didn't do this this was what happened all intentionally i started by telling the friend this is how this i can't i don't talk about the detail about of what happened in case the person is saying it it's something that i have gone past but i'm just saying it just to cite an example so when i was talking to the other person i was like yo like this was what happened and this that and then she was not like no but this person said you were the one that did this first and i was like no i didn't do it first actually i called this person and this is happened and the person said it first so all that went like that and I didn't think about the whole like talking about the whole um, like back and forth argument and explanation and everything. It didn't hit me then. Even as I when I put up this poll, this situation had happened but I didn't even think of it. It's, it was like eight months after or like nine months after that's when, that was when it hit home. Like it hit me that you actually made mistake in your conversation with this person and this person might have thought you were telling lie because you started by saying you this thing happened and then when the person said oh she told you how would i even explain it without like saying the old detail let's say for example someone let me just give an example for example someone calls you and um, someone um, accuses you of doing something that oh why did you why did you put this cup there and in your mind, you were thinking that, oh, I want to put the cup there, but you didn't actually put the cup there. But because you were thinking you wanted to put the cup there, when the person asked you, you said the reason you put the cup there. When in her trial fact, you didn't put the cup there, but the reason you were giving was the reason you wanted to put the cup there. Then, after some time, when you were talking, when you said you didn't put the cup there, you know the person asked, why did you put the cup there? You said, no, I didn't put the cup there. What, what I'm saying doesn't even make sense. No, I'm looking for a different example. Okay, I'll just relay the story. So, for example, like, someone was like, oh, um, I, how will I say it? Oh, okay, someone was like, oh, you start, oh, um, you started a conversation first. Okay, it's something like this. Oh, um, I said this, 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 this person, I actually asked this person, when in her trial fact, you didn't ask the person, 
you only thought of asking the person but because you, you thought of asking the person by the time someone asked you about that situation you forgot you didn't ask the person and then you carried on with the conversation as if you asked the person then in between that conversation then the person you're talking to was not like oh a told me that you came to her house and asked about this thing and you're like no i didn't go to his house to ask about it a actually came them i went to his house to visit a and then a started the conversation but the contradiction is that the first time you were talking about it b was like oh why did you ask this and you're like oh i actually asked this because you thought of asking but you didn't ask because you decided not to ask just because you don't want to put yourself in that situation so be it's later you now be like oh no i didn't ask a so now those two things are contradicting because at first you agreed that you asked then the second time you were talking you now said no you didn't ask it was hey that actually came to your house and spoke about it so it's contradicting it now look as if you are telling lie but all in it's, it's it's an unintentional lie you didn't lie on purpose the first one you agreed to it because you thought of doing it but you didn't do it but because you thought of doing it your mind is actually on what you wanted to say but the second one you're actually saying the truth and no i didn't i didn't ask her she actually came to my house to say it so like if the other person is thinking about the other thing the other person will call you a liar that you're lying because you said at first that you asked and then the second time you said you didn't ask so like that just eats me so hard because i didn't realize i did something like that until like eight months after or nine months after and i'm like what will this person be saying she will just think i'm a liar and i'm not that kind of person that tell a lie like kill me i would rather not say anything than lie i'm not that kind of person that would lie it's either i say the truth or i don't even talk about the situation so but like someone now viewed me as a liar like was like a big thing to me and i'm like there's no way i'm going to rectify this, this thing because i don't even see this person anymore and things like that but that i don't want to share like be, be when it comes to accusation be careful about how you accuse people be careful about how you look at people and you be careful about like what you think about people at times it's pays to really ask people questions that like why did you do this why did you do that before concluding that they are that thing before accusing i, I feel like accusation is really strong before accusing someone calling them a thief a liar they are not loyal they are this and that it's very important to like ask them for explanation and when you ask them for explanation please believe people when they tell you the truth when they tell you they didn't do something the worst thing that could happen is you can just point it out and say but you told me you did this thing before and they can tell you oh sorry i made a mistake i didn't actually do it like I, my mind was not there or like i wasn't thinking about it straight rather than just concluding and telling the person is terrible like what we think of we as human beings human beings are, are not really as terrible as they appear most times we all have weaknesses and because of our weaknesses like we all have a soft spot in us, but at times we all have resistance to things some people get stubborn when, when they are being controlled when they are being pushed something i'm actually that kind of person so like those kind of people when you are dealing with them and you are controlling them you see the stubborn part of them and you just feel like oh they are stubborn or they don't want to like so, um, be subjected to like your stuff but one thing about people like me is like when you're calm and you talk to me calmly like i can be the like more, because naturally i'm not stubborn i'm always like calm i only get stubborn when people try to control me but like when you start with like calm nature and being nice like you can actually like you see like the real side of me so things like that so at times people like we're all broken in this world and people actually live on fighting for themselves they grew up actually fighting for themselves and at times when you actually push people to the wall they actually like want to push back and when they are pushing back people push back through different ways some people push back by fighting some people with ret um, retaliating while some people is just by cursing the other person which i really oppose but then like we heard you at times we just have to understand people well before like tagging them with a name thinking they are this and that but i feel like accusation is a very strong thing me especially i don't do well with accusation when people accuse me of things i just withdraw from the person like i can go from being close to that person and just that's how it goes so like i feel like most human beings are like that too a lot of human beings don't like to be accused of things especially when they don't they didn't do it or when they don't even know they are doing it rather than accusing people of things just tell them oh there's something you do that i don't like and it hurts me or there's something you do i think uh, it's not like very and at their times like when it's out of habit if it's something not bad 
I think there are times we should just accommodate people and love them regardless because we are all imperfect and our imperfection is what makes us unique. Stuff so like that. Alright, that's all I just have today. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I just wanted to share my little story about unintentional lies. It's very possible to tell lies unintentionally it is very very possible as i when i wrote that thing on instagram i would have said no it's not possible but now i now come to the realization that it is possible to tell lie without knowing you are telling lie without me but some people are liars some people actually lie intentionally like they don't even know how to say the truth but most times when it comes to situations situational circumstance you might just not be thinking about the thing and you just say something you did or didn't do unintentionally so that's a different thing so yeah but people that lie a lot like don't use that as an excuse some part try to lie stop lying stop lying <laughs> all right thank you so very much for my video today and have a great day see you guys catch you guys